When you think of a particle accelerator, you might think of the Large Hadron Collider (LHC) at CERN, a science giant that spans countries and is dedicated to cracking the universe's toughest riddles. And now the world of particle accelerators has seen a significant addition. Scientists have introduced the world's smallest accelerator to date. This device, a nanophotonic electron accelerator (NEA), barely the size of a coin, is more than just a cool gadget. It's a game changer. The main motivation to build accelerators arose at the beginning of the 20th century when Ernest Rutherford discovered in 1919 that he could split nitrogen atoms by bombarding them with alpha particles from natural radioactive sources. To continue his research, he demanded a source of higher energy and higher intensity atomic projectiles than those provided by natural radioactive sources. Encouraged by Rutherford, in 1932, Cockcroft and Walton used a 400 kilovolt generator to accelerate protons and shoot them onto a lithium target, which resulted in the first entirely man-controlled splitting of the atom. Nowadays, more than 30,000 accelerators exist worldwide, each serving a distinct role. Yet, accelerators are not all about cosmic exploration. Most serve practical terrestrial purposes. They're instrumental in endeavors ranging from generating intense light for scientific research to manufacturing electronics, and from medical diagnostics to cancer therapy. Hospitals, for example, can acquire a room-sized medical accelerator for a fraction of the cost of something like the LHC, highlighting the diversity and scale and application of these remarkable machines. The NEA is a cutting-edge device that consists of a miniature microchip containing an even smaller vacuum tube composed of thousands of individual pillars. Researchers have devised a method to accelerate electrons by directing miniature laser beams at these tiny pillars. Remarkably, the main acceleration tube within the NEA measures a mere 0.02 inches, or 0.5 millimeters in length, which is a staggering 54 million times shorter than the colossal 16.8 mile long or 27 kilometer long ring housing CERN's Large Hadron Collider (LHC) in Switzerland, the largest and most powerful particle accelerator globally. The interior of the NEA's minuscule tunnel is approximately 225 nanometers wide. To put this into perspective, the thickness of a human hair ranges from 80,000 to 100,000 nanometers, as reported by the National Nanotechnology Institute. A team from the Friedrich Alexander University of Erlangen-Nuremberg FAU in Germany successfully increased the energy of electrons from 28.4 kiloelectron volts (keV) to 40.7 kiloelectron volts marking a significant 43% boost. This accomplishment marks the first successful activation of a nanophotonic electron accelerator, a concept initially proposed in 2015. Roy Shiloh, one of the brains behind this, says it's the first time we're talking about a particle accelerator that could fit on a chip. Unlike the LHC's approach of relying on a multitude of magnets to speed particles to near light speeds, the NEA utilizes laser beams interacting with its uniquely structured vacuum tube. The energy field it generates is considerably less intense, yet the scope for applications is vast. The NEA's electrons might not be as energetic as the LHC's, but the FAU crew isn't slowing down. They're thinking about tweaking the NEA maybe with new materials, or by lining up more tubes to give those particles an extra kick. They're aiming to boost the energy a hundred times over, eyeing medical uses for this mini-accelerator. Imagine slipping a particle accelerator onto an endoscope to hit cancer right on the mark. That's not just some wild idea. It's what the FAU team, along with their pals from Stanford University, and with a push from the Accelerator on a Chip initiative, is chasing. They're not just upgrading tech, they're reshaping the future. From the LHC's vast reach to the NEA's compact genius, particle accelerators are all about human curiosity and cleverness. They link the huge with the tiny unveiling the universe's secrets and opening new doors in medicine and more. 
The journey from the gigantic to the size of a coin isn't just about making things smaller. It's about our unstoppable drive to grasp and wield the core powers of nature. Thanks so much for joining us. If you're passionate about green technologies and a sustainable future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and join our community of eco-enthusiasts.